Okay. So we have um, a fluke amplifier. Five similar ceramic tubes, and this is the way that it came. Now here you see how it looks inside. It's a 4000 volt power supply. Extremely well built. It did have a little bent uh, handles, but uh, I straight out the problem. Now, my wife uh, weighs uh, less than, than this device. Moja żona waży mniej niż to urządzenie. And uh, the, the frequency response is uh, made to be 100 kilohertz in a manual says 1 megahertz. And uh, it says also that till 10 megahertz, the 3% distortion uh, might be present. I have driven it to 77 megahertz, didn't have any problems. Anyhow, I'm gonna say it in Polish and Russian for ham radio operators. Ja to nie przedłagaju, żeby использовать к любительской радиостанции, а то слишком громкое, слишком тяжелое, денег слишком много. 500 баксов это куча, за это можно само делать. Так что вообще подумать надо, да, 2 киловатта вы тянете, без проблем. Это получается вот без никаких. Ну, как сказал, не предлагаю. А ведь не полетам того, э, bardzo głośne, bardzo ciężkie. Mechanikę trzeba przerobić, ta się automatycznie dostraja, to pracuje na kilohercach. E, oczywiście do 77 MHz e, powinno pracować bez problemu. E, to, co było testowane, może nawet wyżej. Ale e, ten, który nie ma e, cierpliwości i wiedzy, lepiej na co niech się nie bierze, bo to jest For ham radio operators, who wants to play with extra low frequency, this is up для любителей, которые хотят поиграть с очень низкими частотами, это очень хорошая штучка. Для коротковолодцев, которые хотят вообще побавить с частотами вощами бардо низкими экстралом фреквенции, то есть понятно. Ну давайте, ребята, начинаем, а то видео начинается. Окей, это часть лаб. Но главное, что я хотел показать, это... Let me put some light in here. Okay. 52058 precision power amplifier. It's a nice stuff. Now you have a on. It's pretty loud. And then you're gonna make sure that you are at steady reset. And then it's warming up. Now, here in here, instrument on. That means the instrument is ready. It says fault, not ready yet. So I gotta wait till the warm up, warm up is not gonna be any longer leading. Okay. It's a pretty big device. As you see, okay. this is how it looks from behind. Okay, of the right. Now, as you see, warm up is no longer there. So now I can switch and it says operated. So now it could be operated. Now the ratio is uh, 1 to 100. Every volt becomes 100 volts and it goes maximum to 1500 volts. The frequency of operation is from approximately zero to 100 kilohertz but here's the point 
In the manual it says that it could work to 1 megahertz, but at the same time it says that the distortion of the signal from 0 to 10 megahertz is less than 3%. That's what I've read at least. Now, <laughs> I was driving that to 77 megahertz and I didn't have any distortion whatsoever. So, this is for the presentation for uh, the friends uh, how this device is working. Now, usually what I do is I take this device, I'm gonna switch it on, and this is the uh, generator, generator. Okay, and uh, this thing will give me the signal that I can create. Let me switch it on. Okay. Should I put a little light on it? Okay, now it's a little bit better to be seen. Now I can switch to here. Now I can choose any way that I want to. Okay, and this is the AWG2041 Tektronics. So, what I usually do, I take the channel of that and deliver with the wire to uh, the fluke. A uh, fluke has uh, five ceramic tubes. Now, I can go with here maximum, with this one maximum two volts. That's the maximum that I can go. But I can also deliver the modulating signal if, if I want to. <coughs> now, for the purpose of AM or FM modulation, actually, I have a series of equipment and this would be leader LFG 1300S and this one would give me the signal if I want to go AM if I cut off the carrier then I could go with the single sideband with that and plenty of others so this is the short presentation of uh, that master I could have put, put the light like that so the master should be seen thank you very much